The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance, it is the illusion of knowledge. How the data flow managed between a sender and a receiver by TCP. Hello friends, my name is Sabi. In today's video, we'll discuss about the TCP receive window concept and why it is important to understand the windowing mechanism. So we have two windows in TCP, the receive window and the send window. And this receive window and send window manage the flow of data between the sender and the receiver. In this video, we will be discussing about what is the receive window and how it will help to analyze the data. The analogy for the receive window can be compared based on a mailbox at your home. And imagine that you are receiving a large number of letters every day and your mailbox can hold a certain number of letters at a time. The letters represent the data being transmitted in the network and the mailbox represent the buffer space on your computer. So if the mailbox is too small, we will need to get it empty it frequently in order to make some room for the new letters. Just as your computer will need to process and clear its buffer space and receive more data. Similarly, we need to clear the letter box frequently to make some more room. So during the three-way handshake, window size has been advertised. This is what the receive window is. So window size of 65535 have been sent before an act been received and do not send any more packet than this. The window size is the amount of data that is transmitted between the receivers needs to send an ACK. This ensures that the sender will not overwhelm the receiver with too much of data. In order to make more throughput for the long connection, it may be a high latency, it may be a high bandwidth, in order to break that restriction of the window size of 16 bits, we will use a window scale to get the actual window size. And also we can say that the tr this is a true window while advertising. So window scale will appear only once in the TCP three-way handshake. The capture packets in Wireshark will help you to get the information about the window size and this is what all the data the sender can send before an acknowledgement will receive. So this is why the TCP three-way handshake is important. And you can refer my previous video that TCP three-way handshake. So what will happen in TCP three-way handshake in the first segment, the sender will send its own window size, window size of 65535. And the window scale is eight. That means whenever a sender is sending, it sends its window size of 65535 and also it sends in the TCP option, the window scale. So here the window scale shift count is eight. If the shift count is eight, that means two to the power of eight, which is 256. This being advertised by the sender to the receiver side. Now, when the receiver will send its first segment, it will also advertise its window size. In this connection, it sends that 65535 as the window size and the window scale is eight. So looking at the PCAP, the window size is 65535 and in the TCP option, we will have the window scale of eight, which is two to the power of eight is 256. Now, when the sender will acknowledge the segment, it will send its actual calculated window. So the actual window here is 262144. That means the window size it's advertised is 1024, which is multiply with 256, which gives us 262144. If we look at the PCAP, we will have a calculated window size of 262144. And if you see the window here is 1024. So from where this calculated window size is coming from, basically it helps from the window scale. So window scale shift count of eight 
to the power of 8 which is gives us 256. So the 256 will multiply with 1024 will give us 262144 which is the true window. Remember this window scale will only be visible once when the first segment being sent from one side to the other. In the entire TCP captures, we will not be able to see the window scale. Hope you like this video. Please share your feedback and questions in the comment box. Thank you.